welcome to the final part of uh, the Nosferatu kit by Monarch Models. Um, I managed to get it all completed, obviously. I'll just take you for a quick look around. Uh, from the last video, obviously, there's a lot more being done, the progress, because it was sort of in pieces, so obviously it's put all together. Um, and the, uh, the face is obviously completed. Look at that. Sort of gone for a yellow animalistic eyes, and I added uh, hair above his ears. And obviously the flocking on his jacket, coat. Uh, the lantern is all painted and lit up. Uh, just take you a quick look around the base. Uh, here we have the the rat, one of the rats sitting on top of the nameplate. Um, I also added uh, this uh, bit of timber that I cut out underneath of MDF board. Uh, put some felt underneath it to sort of tie everything together. Uh, we have the spider here, which uh, also has his cobweb and some cobwebs there on the edge of the stair and the skull and some cobwebs as well there was also the uh, the hand and the, and the forearm bone but I decided not to add them, I thought it was too much going on sort of distracted from the rest of the, the figure um, yeah we have the centipede here in the background on the wall and of course the door which you saw in the previous one and the, the cobwebs there on the top of the doorway. I uh, also added, uh, I darkened up the door and I added up, uh, added up. <laughs> I added the, uh, the rivets, or nails, I guess you would call it. Yeah, yeah, start counting the rivets. Huh. Anyway, um, yeah, I added the keys to the lock. Uh, what else we got? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there's some cobwebs on the side here. But yeah, I mean that's it. It was a it was a great kit. I uh, really enjoyed building this one. Uh, I mean the the quality of the kit was just awesome, and the the way it fit together was just perfect. All kits should be like that. And also the way it was uh, engineered so that everything could be painted separately. You'd, you'd have the skin, you could paint separately the pants, the shoes, the head, the shirt, whatever. Everything was painted separately, so there wasn't a lot of need for masking which uh, worked that great but anyway um, yeah I mean even if it didn't do this base extension that I did just to keep it uh, you know sort of box stock if you will um, this lighting is really bad here the you know it sort of ends there as I'm sure you know and there's a couple of steps well originally I actually wanted this, the, the door to to end with those stairs were, but then after realising that his hand actually extends past the steps so I had to sort of put it on an angle which I think worked out better anyway sort of adding a couple more steps there but anyway um, yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this build or watching this build anyway because uh, I certainly enjoyed doing it uh, the base probably the base itself probably took longer than the figure um, yeah I got some bloody focus problems going on here, I don't know what's happening I would expect bad lighting um, like I said that's it, I'll put up, uh, I'll take some photos and put up a bit of a slideshow and uh, Mr. Basement Model over there you better hurry up mate <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, take your time Alright, I'll catch you guys later.